always wanted to be that Bob the Builder on TV with your own business and stuff. I've always done like construction stuff with my granddad and stuff like that, and my granddad owned his own carpentry business, so that's where I get all the hands-on stuff. When Shane come along, um, I said to him, right, blank piece of paper, where have you worked before, never worked before, why have you never worked, tell me all about you. And I thought, goodness gracious, how can I offer this young person work experience? He's never worked before. Um, but he had such a lovely personality and he was so honest and was so desperate to be given a chance. I think I'd go as far to say he's probably been uh, the most successful candidate. He's uh, so enthusiastic. He's like a sponge. This is the only way I can describe him. Everything you say to him, he wants to soak it up. He's so desperate to work, and I think he will, without a doubt. I'm here early, literally just to get started, and I hate my breaks. I don't like breaks. If I had a choice to not take breaks, I would not take breaks. But I just literally just want to get on with it and get my job done. Um, with my colleague, we looked at whether we could offer him a um, training opportunity here. But we devised a package of training for Shane. As my four day coma over Christmas, that kicked me up the butt and was like, right, it's time to change your life. But now that like, I've given up the drugs, I've like, that little light bulb has clicked and it's like, do you know what? People respect you, you need to respect other people. Because there's some people out there who actually are like, oh, you have that passer, rah, 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 rah. and then there's some people who are like, I don't care about your past, mate. You've changed your life, now, now it's to get on the right path and do what you need to do. And there is some people out there who do judge you, and there's some people here who, who don't actually judge you. And they respect you as a person, and that's why you respect other people. We've been working with Norwich for Jobs, I think, probably for about the last two and a half, three years. We've actually assisted with um, carry out interviewing with uh, young people. We've had um, several people here from the programme. It is a good scheme because it gives the opportunity for the young people or for the people to come along and try it out, see if they like it, um, if it works for them, you know, especially with someone like Shane that's never worked before, you know. Uh, we met Matthew at our taster session where we invite a group of um, about 36 candidates in. Matthew was, was a character, um, a huge smile and had a presence about him when he came in and um, was very personable as well and very outgoing. It was his eagerness of wanting to get onto the programme that you know, made me think, oh, let, you know, let's offer him a, um, a placement. I mean, I put the applications out there to companies and like, you, not, most of the time I either don't hear anything back from them or, or I get like, an email saying, no thanks. And like, even when I do get invited to interviews, um, like, um, I do get, um, like, Obviously, email saying, now oh, thanks for coming to the interview. Obviously, some other candidates have skills and experience that we are more looking for. With other barriers people face, is getting the experience as well. And the good thing with us, with Marks and Spencers, we don't look at previous experience. We look at if we're employing somebody, is, have they got the skills? Can they speak to customers and things like that? And I think we, we can um, work with these young unemployed and young kids coming through on our work experience programmes is to give them the tools to help them. Nowadays there's a greater need with unemployment as it is, there's a higher percentage of younger unemployed um, and I feel that sometimes schools don't equip young, um, young students to get into, um, get into um, employment and I think having this programme, I think we can target that audience and actually make a real difference. Uh, I think yeah, um, being in employment has, cha has changed me. I'm, I'm much more like more positive. Um, I feel like I can like, make a difference. Like, like when I was unemployed, uh, I was sometimes like negative. Um, I was like, but I think being in employment is like changed me for the better. I've been invited to go to a club on a Wednesday with more targeted information and contact to work placements with companies. Um, so through Norwich for Jobs I've managed to 
possibly procure a placement at the job centre. I think employers definitely should offer work experience to anyone who asks for it and can attend and would probably meet the criteria for any employment. If one thing's for sure, I'd definitely say that employers should be more open to young people, open to their inexperience and the need for training. We have people working with us who are 60 to 70, but I think we need to invest that time with the, the young, um, young unemployed and with the thing that we have with our training, that we give them the tools, the soft skills on how to develop as, um, as a young person into, into adulthood. Um, and the fact is making a difference to those candidates um, that had nothing and were in some dark places that having this programme and, and working with the young unemployed, we can, we can really make a difference. This is the best part of my job. Now, I've been lucky enough to work for Marks and Spencers for 32 years, um, and for the past 15 years been um, working in recruitment and working with work experience. Um, but this programme is certainly makes it for me. It's seeing candidates come in, um, that completely um, frozen with fear about getting into work and working for a big company like Marks and Spencers and see their journey and actually to see that fact is we've made a difference to their lives, um, especially being part of Prince's Trust Celebrate Success Awards. We've had two guys that we've nominated, one won a national award, we've got another guy that has gone through this year. So to me, it's brilliant. And the fact is it built, brings morale to um, the workplace. Um, the fact that we're making a difference. Social conscience with being out there in the community makes a difference. So to me, it's the whole package is amazing. I think one of the things that they should do um, is offer work experience. Um, you've got an opportunity to have those young people for 60 or 90, uh, 90 days or whatever. Um, you, you get an opportunity to, then to get a feel about those young people. Um, certainly I know we work in catering as well and the catering and hospitality industry will take young people on as volunteers. Um, you can see a lot from a person if they volunteer. I know it's a bit different on a construction site because it's a dangerous place to be. But I think, you know, um, you can start offering work experience to these young people. And then if they're good, then give them an opportunity of employment. We've gone through a double whammy recession where we should have recognised there was going to be a problem with the construction industry and nobody actually saw it coming. And a lot of the skilled men are retiring, a lot of them are older. It's not that the youngsters are any better, but you know, you have to be given a chance when you're young to actually be old. But I think it is about the reliability, oh, when they're only young, they'll mess about. Well, we can actually prove that he has actually attended every day of his training program. Um, so we can produce those sort of figures for employers. But I think that's it. I think they're just reluctant because they're young. But I think, you know, with young people here, um, certainly Persimmon Homes said to me that they like to take people from a vocational training centre because the young people don't actually realise that but they're being assessed from the minute they come through the door we're looking at their time keeping, their attitude, their ability, their ability to work in groups with other people. Because if you're going to be a bricklayer, you're going to go out and a gang of guys probably bricklay. So we keep all those sorts of um, statistics and figures and on these young people. Organisations like mine, right across the country, are home-growing young people that have the skills to be able to kickstart this housing problem that we have in this country. I think if I had one thing to say to employers, I would say give youth a chance. These young people are our future and I think we should be investing in the young people.